you do a shout out? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you can do that again. Just yeah. say, we're asking Alexandria. Uh, you're watching pitcam.tv. PitCam.tv! You're asking! No. You're asking Alexandria. We're asking Alexandria! Horrible noise. That's a horrible noise. That's my singing, dude. That's his sex. <laughs> That's what he sounds like in bed before he jizzes. <laughs> it's horrible. That's my orgasm noise. It's horrible. You chill now, dude. Hi, I'm Alona from Pitcam, and we're sitting here with Asking Alexandria. Really? She is. She is. Yeah. She's not even lying. Congratulations. Oh, uh, not I, really. I'm Danny. I'm Ben. He. I'm not anyone. Yep. Okay. I'm both. Before we start the interview, you'll have to hold this because I have a surprise for you. <gasps> oh. She's gonna get her tits out. It's blowjobs! Oh, you oh, fucking bitch! What a fucking cow. <laughs> You're yeah! the... Fuck you! That Austin. was you, you cunt! <laughs> he didn't even know what it was! <laughs> when are we doing the icing then? Now! No, no, we're gonna start the interview. You better do it now, that's okay. the rules. Okay. That's the rules. Yeah. I need to top. Can I have my cigarette? Yeah. I'm a professional drunk. Oh, I'm not getting on my knee on here. Fucking You're a wanker, mate. <laughs> 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 that was horrible. Fuck you, Austin. The presentation wasn't bad, but you got a lot to learn. That was good, but... Fuck. That's mine. <laughs> fuck. Well, that was good. Right, good way to start an interview, it. actually, a drink. That was good. What a wanker. Wait till you're playing later. All right. <laughs> okay, now we can get to the serious questions. Oh, there are no serious, serious questions. questions. You're interviewing us now. Fuck, that was good. That, right. I wondered why he was hanging around with a flip cam. <laughs> I was like, he's here to just catch our golden moments. All right, so your second album that came out this month, uh -huh. it sold in the first week 31,000. Yeah. What kind of feeling is that? And did you expect it to sell so fast? No, I did it. Uh, it's amazing. In fact, I woke up, got told, and I immediately got an erection. But I don't know if I woke up with one or not. I could have just woken up with one. But I'm going to say it was because of the album news. Or was it because you were... I was giving him a blowjob. Okay. <laughs> Either way, it was a good feeling. It felt arousing. That's good. At least you were happy about it. Yeah, it was a good time. Doesn't get much happier. So the album, the reissue of the album Stand Up and Scream, the date got pushed back like a few times. Yeah. Why Why was that? Because we wanted to concentrate on Reckless and Relentless. You know, we put like a lot of effort into it, all of us did. And uh, we didn't want another release um, that wasn't even like our work really to, you know, put any shadows, cast any shadows over our new album. So we decided it was in our best interest to just push a new one, didn't we, really? Yeah. We're still going to release it, eventually. When is it expected to be I released? I think just there before no Warp Tour. I think, I, I heard it. it. I spoke to Samir and I, th I think it's before Warp Tour. We're just going to surprise everyone. We're not even going to announce it. It's just going to be there one day. Yes, yeah, so scratch that. <laughs> you guys also played on Jimmy Kimmel's show. You did. And, I mean, to play on his show is probably, like, a huge experience. He called us up and he was like, my ratings have been down a bit, you guys, like, because you guys are the best band in the world ever. Can you guys come play and like help me out so we can get more ratings? And we're like, yeah, whatever, Jim. We, we go way back, so yeah. we just call him Jim. Jim Bob. J Dog. Well, any. J any Dizzle. Any of those things. How fun was fun. it to play on the show? That was amazing. It was fun. And no, honestly, it was probably one of my favorite things ever. I was really, I never get nervous before I play, but I was really, really nervous before we did that. Really nervous. I, but I got on stage and I was absolutely fine. I had the best time ever. It was amazing. I looked over to my right and fucking Jimmy Kimmel was there with all these people just rocking out, having a good time. I was like, yes. TV groupies awesome. are so much better than like show groupies. Do you think you guys got more fans through the through playing I, on the I show? I should hope so. There I were millions of people watching the show. Otherwise, so if every one of them hated us, ten then more, ten <laughs> million doing more haters. Wrong. I also heard that you guys weren't allowed to play in Nashville, Tennessee. Yep. What? Yep. I want to hear the whole story. What happened? <laughs> Apparently, we're God too, hates us. Oh what do they say? We're too controversial. There was like a press release stated saying that. They hadn't been this upset since Marilyn Manson came through in yeah. the 90s. And I was like, okay, sorry. I don't really know what we did wrong, but um, oh well. 
Was the date close? Like, did they just call you and say you're, yeah, you're not going like to play? Like a week anymore? before. We played the, we played Rocket Town twice before, and after each show they banned us, and then lifted the ban and said no, no, come back. And so the third time we were booked to play there. It was a week before we played. A week played. before we played there, they were like, yeah, you can't come. We were like, why the fuck did you book us then if we can't come? Was it Rocket Town? It was Rocket Town, yeah, so whatever, fuck that. We place. were like, yeah, we can watch. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't do anything, though, that's a stupid thing. But another venue down the road put us on, and it was a great show, so fuck it. Was it was better. Yeah. Do you guys think you're going to go back to Rocket Town and try oh, to play no. again? Or? Fuck, fuck that. no. Fuck that. We didn't do anything to them. If they want to be cunts, then fine. Besides that song we wrote. About Rocket Town? <laughs> no, about... Because that. They're a really Christian venue, and they got. I think it was probably something to do with us writing a very blasphemous song. It's fictitious, though, isn't it? It's so stupid. Mm. Whatever. I don't even want to talk about Rocket Town. Thing, it's yeah. so stupid. Rocket Town are idiots. We didn't do anything. They, they, they're the ones that would have let our fans down if it weren't for the other venue being cool and yeah. saying, "Come play with us." So. Well, we'll just move on to a better question. <laughs> okay. Do you have any trouble getting over borders? Like maybe I've heard lately that fans. It's really hard to get so into Canada. Far, so good, you know, touch I'm wood. I'm surprised. We haven't had any fucking trouble yet. I mean, it's not, they stop us and they'll search things. We had trouble in Australia oh. once. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. I, yeah, we did have trouble in Australia one time. That was bad times. But um, Somebody got caught with drugs on his crotch. <laughs> I thought the dog was being nice. <laughs> the dog came over and I was like, oh, no, no, And it sat down next to me and was wagging its tail. And I was like, oh. Busted. Come with me, sir. Come with me. Fuck. Was that the airport? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Scissor and twist. In that, his bum. Yeah, that was a bad time. And then the security got him after I was finished. <laughs> yeah. And what about Canada? Like, I've heard a lot of bands have. Canada's been cool. I mean, can they Canada. just. At the end of the day, the borders are just doing their job. You know, it's their job to stop people and search them. You know, we're a band, we're covered in tattoos. They expect whatever the stereotype is, which is fair enough, but we don't. They usually get it. We don't. Yeah, they, they <laughs> usually, right? There's a lot of bands, but we haven't. You know, we're not stupid. We're not going to ca- try and carry stuff over a border or. I don't think we're not supposed to because that would jeopardise everything. So yeah, you just get more stuff when you go over. <laughs> <laughs> True. Nah, but yeah, no. Th- so far, so good. What is the dumbest band name you've ever heard? Asking Alexandria. Slipknot. What a terrible band name. Awesome the who? band. What was, I like the Who. You like the name? I like the name of the Who. It's cool. Yeah. The Who? Yeah, but it's a stupid band name. Slipknot's a terrible band yeah. name, I think. Awesome band. Terrible band name. But so. Of mice and men. <laughs> So shit. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna men- I wasn't even gonna mention it because it's so bad. It's not worth mentioning. Have you even ever read a book? <laughs> Have you read? Th- no. Who the fuck are they? Hey, <laughs> what? Do you mean that band that got nearly thirty-two thousand records first week? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was in Nickelback. I love that band. I love Nickelback. That's a shit band name as well. Yeah, it's a terrible band name. But I love that band. All band names are shit. Look at Tool. the look at the Beatles. What are you doing? You right, I quit. I'm professional. If you want to just go film them, just do it. You shouldn't have invited us out. <laughs> What's the worst thing that happened to you guys on tour? Being on tour with Austin Carlisle. What a fucking prick. <laughs> I hate him. This is definitely the worst thing that's ever happened to me on tour. Just being in his presence every day. Um, <laughs> he's so ugly. He makes me feel worse about myself. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we've like had a lot of real bad things happen. Yeah. The worst thing, like maybe the van broke down. You Seattle were late for a show. Was the worst. Seattle. It was a terrible I show. I got really drunk yeah, and did bad. Weird. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that that was a pretty bad. That's one. probably the one thing I really, really, really regret. Really regret. That was a bad time. I don't time. remember it. It was really bad. Needless to say, I hate, I hate, I hate that that ever happened. But it did, and we learnt from it. So. But and anyway, then we what? sold thirty-one thousand albums. A week later. Just got to move on from it. We're going <laughs> back to Seattle game, though. Guys. Going back to Seattle to do a free show, which is good. Got him fucking mend the bridge. By, by free, that was bad. we mean we're actually going to charge him double. <laughs> <laughs> Without telling them. Invisible Monopoly. I'm going to steal their money. Nah, yeah. That was a, that was definitely the worst part. And uh, definitely need to make up for that. And uh, <laughs> where was your craziest show and what happened? Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> forget Seattle. Um, I can't okay. forget Seattle. Okay, no, no, it's okay. a nightmare. I can't remember Seattle. Um, no. If, few nights after that, where were we? Was it no, in I don't even want to talk about this either. We're going to get so much trouble. You see, that's why we should go like before any of this happened. Oh, like, maybe. <laughs> yeah, before any of this stuff, because we're going to just get we in trouble. We're going to get in a lot of trouble, which okay. isn't good. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, <laughs> For someone that doesn't want to get in trouble, you get yourself in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a bad time. Um, um, okay, before that. All our shows are pretty crazy, really. Yeah. La- last night, there was kids 
on our stage just having an orgy, making out, yeah, last and undressing each other. What? On our did stage. you tell them to do it that? No, no, games. they were just doing it. So I sat on them. Someone I sat had, on them while someone they were doing had it. Someone had sex while we um, in oh, in New York. No, it wasn't. It was it North was New Carolina. York. No, it was New York. The fucking. It was in. The ones uh, that were upstairs. Yeah, it was. That, that was, was New North York. Carolina. Dude. No, it wasn't. It's North Carolina. Oh, it was North Carolina, that's right? It was North Carolina. They Sounds the so same. Played. But they fucked while we played. Yeah. We announced it, and they had sex up in the balcony. Wow. That, that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. It was funny. <laughs> what is the creepiest thing a band has ever said to you? Oh, oh, a band, a band. fan. Sorry, uh, a fan. Some kid asked me to carve my name into his neck with a knife, and had the knife there and everything. Yeah. But you didn't do it, right? No, I told him to <laughs> fuck off and get help. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty weird. That was weird. There's lots of weird shit. And what is a, a f how far has a fan gone? Like, to maybe meet you guys, oh, or? four inches in. Uh, her face, <laughs> she's just like, oh, I don't know what she's to like, say oh, to that. She's like, oh, don't say it's that. <laughs> uh, I don't know how far fans have gone. Some of them follow us. Yeah. We have people follow us around the fucking whole of America which is kind of weird turning up at every show it's pretty crazy just to try and meet us I don't think they ever got to but I don't know lots of crazy things I don't care I try and meet as many of them as possible to be honest because I normally end up having a good time with them sex he's talking about sex <laughs> yeah it's all the dudes as well just shag them all big or small fuck them all <laughs> nah I don't know describe your band in one word fucked <laughs> fucked Idiots. Because we're fucked. <laughs> we're going to hell, whatever. Damned. Damned. Condemned. So go out with a bang, then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's all we want to do, make the biggest impact we possibly can. Although we seem to be only good at the negative impact part. No, that's just because of the way people see things. We're trying to bring back rock and roll. They're actually playing old school rock and roll because it wouldn't work now. But I just hate the fact that the music industry's died, you know? So we're just trying to change all that try and get people to buy albums again and go to shows again and support music like people supported music 10 15 years ago so we'll see we'll see what happens and what are your plans for the future the band's future we plan on uh, getting married we're actually we're engaged gonna get married. we're engaged um we're going to adopt we are <laughs> it's going to be a good we're time gonna adopt we're really an excited african child no, an african child and Arabic we're going to be child. like brad and angelina we're just going to adopt everything everything one <laughs> of everything and then we can pick favourites, yeah. depending on We which can make them is. do running races for who gets to eat that day. <laughs> running races for our affection. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever wins gets Whoever our Whoever brings love. me a beer fastest, I love more. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to train them to make, like, Nikes. Mm. Push that out. Yeah. I don't like Nikes. Yeah, we're going to sell them, not for ours. <sighs> we're going to train them to make liquor. That's good. You have a little moonshine laboratory <laughs> with little kids making it for us. <laughs> That's such a We're good never going to get a child now, Danny. They're never going to give us we one. Just won't show this part and then they'll give yeah. It. Then we can reopen it. No, we'll be great parents. Adoption agencies are not going to look at our interviews. Yeah, we'll be great parents. We're very loving. We are. <laughs> and we're a strong team. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you guys have such a great future. That was the end of our interview. <laughs> that was the end of the interview. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could ice her right now. I don't have one. Well, you could go. You can go buy me one. We'll buy you an ice. No, we should get just. Smir I'll buy you some rum. A we, no, bottle of it. We should get Smirnoff thing. stickers and put them on our penises chug, and run chug, around chug. all night with them. <laughs> be like, ah, and then it's gonna suck you off. That's disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna get a Smirnoff tattoo on my. What cock. happens if James saw it? I'd let him off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you don't have to do it, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> oh please! <laughs> I want some famous in me. <laughs> Thank you for doing this interview with us. Oh, you're welcome. Taking your time for doing it. Thank you for interviewing us. You're welcome. Are we going to get drunk now, all of us? We're all going to go get laid. We're going to have an orgy. <laughs> with that guy. <laughs> How pretty going to film it. Show him. Show him. Turn the camera around. Show them your face. They want to see you. They want to see you, dude. The people want to see you. That's your feet. <laughs> that's, that's not what his they're face looks nice, like. They're Don't very nice trick feet. You. He's trying to show them how big his feet are. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you know what that means. <laughs> big socks.